Hey lovelies, so I want to make a little update today on the 10 things that you need to do to get in flow and abundance with money. Number one is you do not want to see money as an ultimatum to get what you want. You want to see getting what you want as coming from the universe in an infinite number of ways. Ultimatum thinking with money can look like this. Oh, I can't have what I want because look at my bank account right now. Oh, no, that's never going to happen for me in my lifetime because look at what I make at work, right? So that is ultimatum thinking is that there is only one way to get what I want and that's through the stream of income and if I don't feel good about my income right now and if I don't feel good about money right now, then I life sucks and I'm not getting what I want. Okay, number two, no one wants to fucking bathe in a bathtub full of money, right? And if you do, it's because what that money brings you turns you on, not the paper itself, right? So what need are you really trying to meet with money, right? Are you trying to re meet connection, right? Like if you know, if I have all the money in the world, then I can go, you know, live with a big ass community and not have to worry about work and not have to worry about our needs being met and we can just, you know, have connection all day or people are going to really want me if I have a lot of money, so that's how I'm going to get connection through money, right? Or then maybe I want money because it's going to give me a stress-free life. Well, how can I go for connection right now? How can I go for a stress-free life right now, right here? You know, and so if money is going to create a stress-free life for me, how can I create a stress-free life now? Well, stress is about standards, right? So if my standard is that, you know, ooh, I want like fancy things all the time or I want things that are going to make me feel better or give me comfort or give me whatever right and I'm gonna feel stressed to get that if I don't feel it's guaranteed right well maybe you need to change your standards maybe it could be nice to have all those things met with money and knowing that you deserve it but maybe you could open to the idea that like you know whatever food and nourishment that I do get is beautiful and that could be your new standard is that whatever happens happens and you want to strive for more and better because you deserve it but you'll be okay and you'll be stress-free no matter how many bills are there to pay you'll figure it out you'll make it happen one way or another it's gonna happen eventually um, you know no matter you know now how can I avoid debt how can I make it so that money doesn't have a chokehold on my life right by changing my standards and by opening up um, for more and better to come and for a stress-free life to exist beyond that standard but having but a very mutable standard right so that standard can change at any moment like I'm okay uh, like you know like maybe I really want the standard of having nice food and you know a nice like house uh, that I don't have to pay a mortgage to or that I don't have to pay rent to or you know maybe I have the standard of always wanting to drive everywhere but maybe my standard can be mutable that it's okay if you know I'm gonna be renting a house instead or it's okay if you know I'm gonna eat ramen one night because that's just all I could afford and I'm gonna eat beans the next day because that's all I could afford and then next week I get to take myself out for treats because now I get to afford more right so if your standards are mutable, if they're easily changed, that's how you can eliminate a, a lot of stress with money, right? And really seeing how I can get my needs met regardless of money and how things are going to be okay regardless of money and really guaranteeing yourself some source of income to meet the bare minimum needs for you and your family. If your need behind money is to have luxury, what needs are you getting out of the idea of luxury? Are you associating your value with it? Are you saying that, you know, I if I get to have the best of everything, then I am the best of everything? You know, what what are you really getting out of it? And if you really want luxury and if you really want the best out of everything, how can I see the best of everything right here, right now? Number three, 
Stop associating money with your value. Your value is intrinsic within you, honey. Number four, we're gonna make three camps. We're gonna make a list of three beautiful camps. And these camps are gonna be number one. Camp one is a list and a feeling and a sensation of what is your business, your work, what you're doing to make money without the money involved. What do you intrinsically value about the task itself, the business itself, the, the, you know, the industry itself, right? What do you intrinsically value? Camp two is all about money. What is your relationship with money? What is your childhood wounding around money? What are your goals around money? How much money are you available to make? What do you really want to make? What are you making now, right? And camp three is where your relationship with money and your business come together and work together with flow. So let's break down the currency of money for you in number five. The currency of money is joy, is feeling your best, is laughing, is having a good time, right? And the frequency and the currency of money is gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that I have right now in this moment. Thank you for my life, thank you for my breath, thank you for every person and thing in my life, right? Even when it's challenged me, right? Or it's made things harder. And. And the most important currency at all when it comes to money? Whose needs are you meeting? What needs are you meeting? The more needs that you're meeting for people that are invaluable, you will be receiving invaluable compensation in return. Number six. Learn to have more fun, girl or man. You gotta have more fun with life, right? Life is not about working hard, right? Life is about expansion, and expansion comes from all sorts of life. Expansion gets to come from having so, so, so much fun. It gets to come with creating so much ease, so much flow, and so much grace for y'all. That being said, number seven, work with the resistance as soon as it comes up and that means to approach any resistance that you have to making money to life to having fun even with complete curiosity to understand it right and you want to approach it with openness to receive that resistance and work with it get into complete reality with your finances right and ask myself what's going on with my finances let's really understand it right and then let it go. Number eight, do not base how good life is going to be for you based on what is inside your bank account. That's a huge, 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 huge mistake, right? No matter what your bank account says, try to have the best day possible. Try to have the most fun possible. Try to get the most abundance out of life possible and show yourself that it's not just based on money, that you can have a freaking good time, that you can have life bless you and be amazing for you, right? Don't base what's in your bank account based on how much access to money you're gonna get in the future, how much abundance you're gonna get in the future, right? Know that that number is just a current currency that you're carrying around in the energetic form of money, but your abundance currency is millions and trillions and zillions and it lives within you and that abundance is found all over the universe and it can always be yours at any moment, tomorrow, whatever, right? Having a lower bank account at this moment, having debt at this moment doesn't mean shit. It is just a game. It is just an illusion that is making you think that you're less than or that you have less than, right? But people that are super, super rich become poor all the time and people that are poor become super rich all the time, right? And it doesn't mean anything and it doesn't secure your identity for the future. If you want to have more, you get to have more. It's available to you. Do not pin money and income down. Number nine, do not pin money and income down to any one stream of income. The more streams of income you can create, 
the more resilient your money is going to be, right? And do not say that it comes from this person, this place, right? If you have clients in your business, it does not come from any one client. It comes from the stream of flow of your business being worthy of that income, and that comes directly from source. Number 10, money is always, always, always available to us, no matter what. Promise. Thanks for listening, guys. If you want to work with me, find out how to get out of your money funk with uh, some completion process or parts work or any other thing that you need in your life for coaching, self-love, authenticity, healing, coming out of suffering. I am your girl. Check me out at lushheartsblossoming.com or book a session with me for 222 USD little side bonus if you're having little money funk and if you're actually suffering because of it or not having access to your basic needs because of it you get to feel that it's real right and if you feel like a victim to life or to circumstances that's real but don't feel like a victim to money right it can hurt and you can go th go through that and work through that but it's not ultimately money's fault, right? And it's a painful experience within the universe that sucks and hurts. And you're going to feel all sorts of ways around it. But allow yourself to go into that and separate it from blaming money for your problems.